Bless, 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 family, I'm back again with another hot topic. So get your hot cup of tea ready and stay seated because I'm going to spill the beans for you guys and teach you this his history if you don't know about it. Today I'm going to talk about a very, very important person in history. You know, I'm going to talk about a legend, I'm going to talk about a hero, I'm going to talk about a person that is basically his story remains as a legacy in our heart and also probably a lot of people in America and around the world. If you don't know this story, then stay seated guys, I'll teach you this. I'm going to talk about Henry Johnson. Henry Johnson was born 15th of July 1892 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He was a soldier, a hero, a legend remains in the heart of many people across the world. He was born in a time where America was not friendly to people of colour and he was born in a time where slavery was booming in America and black people struggled for freedom. During his teen years, he moved to Albany, New York, and there he worked as red cap porter at Albany Union Station. When the First World War broke out, he registered for the First World War draft using a different date of birth. Johnson joined the United States military in 5th of June 1917. He served an all-black New York National Guards regiment, later on redesignated 369th Infantry Regiment. This regiment was also nicknamed the Harlem Hellfighters. Johnson arrived to France in the New Year's Day 1918, joining the 185th Brigade upon the arrival with Harlem Hellfighters. The Harlem Hellfighters faced horrid harassment, discrimination and denigration from US white soldiers. This harassment, such as white soldiers refused to serve alongside black soldiers, shifting the failure and the blame from white soldiers to black soldiers, even though the black soldiers outdone their duties. This harassment went on as far as releasing an infamous pamphlet secret information concerning black troops to warn French civilians of the alleged inferior nature and presumed propensity of African American troops to commit sexual assault. However, the French army and the people had no such problem and were happy welcoming the all-black regiment. As a result of the harassment, General John J. Pershing loaned the Harlem Hellfighters to the French army. The French army allotted Johnson's regiment to outpost 20 in the edge of the Aragon Forest in the Champagne region of France. On the night of May 14, 1918, while Johnson's on observation duty, he came under attack by a large German raiding parties, which he was numbered up to 36 soldiers using grenades, the butt of his rifle and his bare fist, killing five and wounding many others. He rescued Needham Roberts and saved his fellow soldiers. Johnson suffered 21 wounds during the ordeal. His act of bravery and his fearlessness nicknamed him the Black Death. The French government awarded Johnson's the Croix de Guerre with a special citation and golden palm. He was the first American to receive the award. So yes guys, there's many, many, many untold of a story like this one. And I've, you know, stay tuned in my channel, guys. I've been uncovering many, many stories that you never heard of before. And I think, you know, uh, uh, this, uh, also Henry Johnson died poor in obscurity. So nobody knows about him or anything like that. And basically, they, uh, I think, I think what you look at, what you look at these kind of stories, always uh, you look at the history that's not been told by people and it's not been up there most of the time so now i think you know this story guys make sure you go and look it up and make sure also you talk when you talk about uh, you know african-american soldiers or black soldiers in the world war one or world war two there's many many of them as well here in britain uh, africa and america as well so i'll be making a lot more research and also you guys you need to go back and make more research about these stories and many many other stories as well so Maybe next time you never know what I'm going to bring bring you up. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring you up a lot of different interesting stories. Do you understand? So have you ever have you ever known this story before or no? If you've never known this story before, let me know. If you know it, then well then. I think you are the history book. You know exactly what's going on, and you should be telling your own history. Nobody else. You know what I mean? You tell your story. You tell your history. If you're waiting for someone to tell your history, if you're waiting for someone to uh, venerate you or respect you or anything like that, I think you're mistaken. So you shouldn't be you shouldn't be waiting for anyone. You shouldn't be waiting for for even even for your family because your family they probably also don't know any better. 
They don't know anything apart from, you know, the things that the system, what they told them and gave them and things like that. So guys, I think, I think us here, so it's your responsibility, yeah? It's on you. And I'm talking to you right now on the camera. It's on you, you, you guys. You need to tell this story as much as you can and as long as you can, right? And education, so I know that education is not going to give you these kind of stories unless you're going to go out and search out for it. So you must be searching for the real truth. But if you're not searching for the real truth, then who's going who's gonna to tell you about that? So, so it's been told from the system up down. So as I said that before, and I think, uh, and I think you guys also, there's many, many inventors that is not being recognised or getting recognition and things like that. Because again, it's not on the people. It's not on the people that was actually done the dirty work. It's not on the people that was done the damage. It's on you because the damage is done on you. You know, so you the person that you need to get out of that damage and tell your own story by 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 you writing it or speaking about it or teaching your your children kids and many a lot of people and i think uh so so you guys let me know let me know what you think about this story and next time let me know as well what kind of a story do you want me to cover or uncover because if you want me to uncover anything i'm right here do you know what i mean so knowledge is power as what i'm saying to you knowledge is power history is power as well if you know your history you know where you're coming from if you don't know your history you don't know where you're coming from Right, so you know exactly what page to start from, right? So now, we, like many people are missing pages, yeah, missing pages, and the pages that they're not missing, so they open the book from the middle. So if you open the book from the middle, then how are you gonna get the, the story right? You're not gonna get the story right. So you're gonna have to open the book from the start, yeah, from the start, and look at the look at the menu, look at the preface, yeah, look at look at the the opener, and then you would know like, oh, right, okay, that's how it is, and look at the end of it. But a lot of us uh, guys right now today, we we got the book, do you know what I mean? We opened it up, and when, we're, when people told us their story, we said, then they told us in the middle, you know, only the victory. Do you understand? All right, guys, bless, bless this family. Stay blessed, family. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, bye.